Here we are in the Maritimes on the east coast of Canada. The Cellar, one of the more famous restaurants in Halifax for its hauntings, it was originally a farm built by the Honorable James Butler in the 19th century. The story goes that Elizabeth, a local farm laborer, was on her way home from work. She may have been surprised by a transient who brutally killed her. The next day her body was found, but nobody was ever convicted of this brutal, heinous crime. Many believe that it is Elizabeth's spirit who is today haunting to sell a restaurant. Joanne Dolan, a longtime employee of the Cellar Restaurant, and one of the first to openly talk about the hauntings. My name is Joanne, and I worked here at the Cellar Restaurant for a number of years. During that time, I experienced a lot of unusual things here in the restaurant, from strange noises to cold areas of the restaurant that I couldn't explain, along with uh, seeing some strange shapes. One night I was alone and I was working downstairs in the office and the air in the office became very cold. It was very chilly and very eerie. And um, I turned and I saw this misty shape. It looked like a person, but it just floated by. I became very frightened and I wanted to tell someone, so I got up and I left the office immediately. I started chatting with my other co-workers in, in the restaurant and I came to discover that I wasn't the only one who was experiencing strange things here. And so we all started, you know, talking about the types of experiences we had had and shared those experiences with one another. Many of my co-workers had experienced the same sort of cold spots that I had experienced and others actually heard voices and the voices seemed to be whispering their names. It was very frightening for all of us. Staff often report of hearing their names being called by some unseen presence, normally by the kitchen entrance. Two employees were working in the restaurant on their own one evening. The lady downstairs kept hearing her name being called. Natalie? I'll be there in a minute. Natalie? I'm just out back checking glasses. I'll be right there. Natalie? Yes, Barbara. And finally, out of frustration, one upstairs to find out what the other wanted. At that time, the one upstairs said, I haven't been calling your name. The two ladies felt very weird and finished their shift very quickly that year. My name's Mike Hubley. I'm the chef here at the cellar. Been here for five years, and we've seen some, some interesting things happen. One day, uh, I was by the computer out front. I seen something appear, which I thought was a person coming into the back dining room. So I came over to see who it was, because we weren't open at the time, and there was nothing there just an object seemed to be there but then it disappeared so joanne who works here also seen many of things and and feels a lot of these spirits so i went to get her and the chef called me uh to tell me that he too had seen a similar apparition to the one that i had seen and so i stepped into the cold spot and uh, decided to step back for a bit and when i stepped back a few steps the temperature actually returned to normal I had an aunt who uh, believed in ghosts and um, she actually told me once if I ever experienced any of the things that she experienced that I should approach the ghost in a very specific way. The chef asked me if I was okay and I said could you please just leave me alone for a bit. And I moved back into the cold spot and spoke to the ghost and told it basically that uh, we aren't afraid of you. We know you won't hurt us, uh, but please don't follow us home. And at that point, the air changed temperature and it became warm again. It was almost as if the presence had left the room. The cellar restaurant haunting uh, involves an interesting element. And that's a a primary witness who says that she sees ghosts all over the place, that she's a sensitive. And then other people seem to follow her lead and say, well, yes, she saw the ghost and now we've seen it too. I guess the question is, should we believe a person who sees ghosts all the time 
is that person really sensitive or does it mean the person is more pr fantasy prone and, and, and prone to making error and mixing r fantasy and reality? Joanne's mysterious experiences continued. Furniture would move on its own. Computers would go haywire and the cold chill would occasionally sweep through the office. This mystical image was seen a number of times, sometimes the full form moving through the cellar, other times just out of the corner of your eye. The staff have said the basement has been a focal point of many of these experiences. Many have reported a constant sense of being watched or a presence around them. I went downstairs to do inventory and the air around me turned really cold and then all of a sudden I felt an icy hand touch my shoulder and I turned around and looked and no one was there. And at that point I decided I was going to confront the ghost again and I said please leave me alone and the air actually returned back to its normal temperature. Even though she felt she was never in any type of physical danger, the experience left her shaken for a very long time. About 20 years ago, my, both of my parents worked here. There was a body supposedly found in the river out back, and they went outside, and someone actually, I'm not sure who it was, it was my dad or someone else, drugged this bag out to see what it was, because they didn't know it was a body at the time. They opened the bag up, and there's a back door over here that was actually open. And when they opened the bag, it was a body that was pretty decomposed. It was in, in bad shape. And the smell just sort of came right through the whole restaurant. It was just an awful smell. I don't know if the fans drug the smell, the odor into the building or what, but it was just a horrible smell came over the restaurant. The body that washed up had a very violent death. We believe they were murdered. And uh, some people believe that that is the spirit that still lingers here in the restaurant. The cellar's longtime chef, Michael Hubley, has experienced the spirits on many occasions. We hung up some new boards in the kitchen. That night when we left, they were all up where we hung them. Next morning, I came in. I was last out, first in. The clipboard was up on the counter, which is probably you know, three or four feet high, the counter. So for the clipboard to fall, hit the floor, and bounce onto the counter would be impossible. So somehow someone put it there, but no one was in after I left or in before me in the morning. So somehow it, it rose itself up to the, the counter. Before we leave the restaurant at night, we always set the tables for the following morning. And uh, when we have returned on, on many occasions, uh, the, the tables, the objects on the tables have moved. I mean, you'll have salt and pepper shakers that have gone from one table to the next table, and chairs um, that have been moved away from tables. The kitchen staff has also experienced similar instances. Um, there were occasions, actually, where they turned their backs and uh, turned around and items had actually disappeared. I've seen many a times things like pass by the door when I'm here by myself and I'd assume that, you know, someone came in but there was no one here. Uh, in the mornings when I'm getting changed, I'm the only one here and the door's locked. I'd hear footsteps up here, kind of freak you out, so I'd come up thinking maybe the owners came in or something, but there'd be no one here. You'd hear the odd time a voice would call to you, say, Michael, Michael. And I thought it was one of the girls or something, and no one was calling my name. There are times that uh, the ghost actually seems to be protective of the restaurant. Um, there were two occasions where employees had forgotten to put out the fire before they left at night. And returned in the morning to see that the fire was actually smothered out as opposed to burning out on its own.
it seems as if the ghost is actually protective of the property. We're kind of used to this now. You know, we know that the spirit's here. We know things happen. We feel things. We see things. We just take it for granted that it's here to, to watch over us, I guess. It appears that the ghost is a friendly ghost, and no one's been hurt uh, in any of these instances. So we've just all sort of learned to live with the ghost and um, move on from there. <laughs>